95.9 KRFF. You're tuned into this side of country with Trav. We're powered each and every day by our good pals over there at Fix It Forward Out of Care. Hey, it's a brand new day. It's a brand new week. And it's a brand new month. A whole lot of brand news going on today. And uh, this means a lot because you're going to want to uh, head over to Startup Brew. Check out the events calendar. they got a lot going on this month. And uh, to kind of get you warmed up and get you ready for what's going on, we've got Sadie back here in studio. Good morning to you. Good morning. Happy April Fool's Day. Happy April Fool's Day. You know, I am the guy that would take this opportunity to pull a little something. But as I said, as you walked in, I'm like, man... It's all about survival right now. There's a lot going on in the world. I don't need to pull any more uh, shenanigans on people. You were definitely right about that one. We're all on edge already. (laughs) Yeah. How was March over there at Startup Brew? March was great. I can't believe we're already into April. Yeah. I'm just wowed right now. But it was great. I think a couple highlights I would have to say is we had the Show or the Money documentary here. Oh, cool. Um, So if you're interested in checking that out, live streaming will be available in November. Very nice. And she, uh, that documentary was at the Fargo Film Fest. Wow. Which I had never been to. So that was amazing. So you got to check that out too then? I did. It's pretty cool, right? Yes, it was like a double whammy. Um, And then she was our Startup Brew speaker. So not only was she the producer of that documentary, she's also also an investor she also has wow. a nonprofit, so it was, it was just jam-packed day um and then the past week we actually had eric roder of road america yes he was with us i believe two months ago kind of chatting about what he does and so. i am still looking for an opportunity to put into motion so that uh, i can rent this thing and yes. go on and, and take in a little adventure yeah <laughs> yeah if you're a remote remote worker check it out road america yeah absolutely uh so we had a couple of highlights which means you're probably going to step up the bar here Step up the game, raise the bar, that sort of thing. What is April looking like? I'm super excited for April. So we kind of have a short month. So we do have four Wednesdays, but we're only doing the first three. Oh, okay. And then we take a little bit of a break until we kick off our summer in okay. June. Okay. So I'll kind of give you high level details and then we can dig in if that works for you. Absolutely. Perfect. Let's get to it. So we have NDSU takeover day at Startup Brew on April Ooh. 3rd. So in two days. Yeah. And last year, NDSU takeover day set the record no for Startup Brew attendance. So we're going to see if they can do it again. What do you think that means? Why does it set the record? What are they well, doing? So yeah, let me tell you a little bit about these college takeover days. Yeah. So typically it is a current student who is a founder and has their own company. Right. And then it's also an alumni that is a founder and has their own company. Students that already have their own company. Yes. Wow. Isn't that I, wild? I don't think I would have been able to comprehend that on top of life. I'm just figuring yeah. out life outside of yeah. high school here, <laughs> let alone starting a business. Wow. I know, I know. Already impressed. So very cool. And then we'll have a random act of art. Uh, I believe we have the improv group coming. Cool. It's called To Be Determined. Hey. So they're not To Be Determined, but that is the group name. So it's yeah. not not to be confused there. Interesting. Yes. So very fun. They they set the record, I believe, at 267 people last year. Wow. So nearly 300, which is Fantastic. Fantastic. Look at them go. Yes, yes. And then we have Concordia Takeover Day on the 10th. Okay. And then we're celebrating Startup Brew's third birthday on the 17th. Third birthday already. Third birthday. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Looking back at three years already, uh, I mean, it's hard to pick one, but is there just really a moment that stands out and you're going, man, I'm so proud of this? (gasps) Oh, gosh, that's so hard. I mean, I think the energy, for whatever reason, around this summer is super fun. One, because we're outside. Yeah. Two, because of the sunshine. And three, every TEDx is really fun. And we typically somehow correlate the TEDx speakers with the Startup Brew speakers. So those are always uh, big hitters. But like I said, I think the Show or the Money documentary that Bell Brain brought in yeah. two weeks ago was super, super fun. Wow. It was amazing. Just the energy there, the collaboration. Yeah. Um, we had Girl Scouts pitching. Hey. We had the Lego, le- Lego team from West Fargo pitching. And they were so given $1,000 cool. from Bell Bank on stage. That is so, so fantastic. It was amazing. Let yes. me, let's talk about this pitch thing here yeah. for a little bit. Because uh, one of our good friends, uh, we do a segment with her every Wednesday. And Dara with Love Your Local. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about the pitch yeah. process. How does somebody get involved and what what do they get to do and what is the purpose of the pitch process when you're doing Street Art Brew? Oh, yes. Okay, so typically we don't do pitches. Typically we do announcements but because oh, gotcha. it was all the theme about like show her the money yes. and money themes, I wanted to have the kids come and pitch their idea and see if there was any way. I was thinking, you know, it's just cute seeing little kids pitch and to have the courage as a child to get on stage and pitch your idea, let alone like most adults wouldn't do that. Right. Um, so that was a super unique and cool opportunity 
opportunity. But if you do have an announcement about any community-wide events, reach out to me. I'm happy to put you on stage for Starter Bird to do that. Very so, cool. Love what, yeah. uh, love the opportunities that you're providing the community members yeah. here. Yeah, over absolutely. At Starter Brew. We got NDSU taking over. We got uh, Concordia taking over. Yeah. Uh, the, the third one again. Remind me what the you just said. The third one. So we have a Starter Brew takeover on the 17th. This is all about celebrating our third birthday. Yes, third birthday. So some... F- Teasers here. A dot hanky of dot pretzels will be there. Ooh. She is announcing one of our speakers. One of the speakers is his name is Tate Howie. Okay, he has created a coffee uh, product. You're gonna love this oh, one. Oh come on! All right. So it's not drinkable coffee. He created it because you know when you're doing long road trips and yeah. you just want coffee after coffee, but yeah. then you have to stop to go to the bathroom yes. and if there's not. So you know that whole thing. So it's a coffee product. A coffee. Product. It's it's. I don't even know how to explain the texture. I'll yeah. bring it to you next time. Yes. But he's going to be there. He's actually doing production where Dot had done her production for Dot's no Pretzels. Kidding. And then we have the founder of Chai Modo okay. in West Fargo. So it's kind of like a a, a drink theme. It's also Cerber's third birthday. So we're wow. going to have a balloon artist there. So it'll be fun. Come check it out. Celebrating three years in yeah. April here. Startup yeah. Brew. That is so cool. Absolutely. Let's go back real quick. I know we've told this story a million times, but there's always those who go i know about starter brew yeah. i've even been there uh, i've heard of it but what led to this whole thing getting started that's such a great question yeah, yeah. so startup brew stemmed from the idea of one million cups okay. one million cups is a franchise by the kaufman foundation yeah. um and because it was franchised there were just very specific rules and regulations we had to follow which not a bad thing right but we've decided you know we kind of want to change it up we want to tailor it to what our community really needs yeah and so we created startup brew and with startup brew it's our own brand we're mm-hmm. able to have two speakers now we're able to tie in artists which are also entrepreneurs yeah. bring them on stage um and then really kind of like i was talking about those pitches or those announcements yeah. we allow for three to four announcements per week because it really draws the community into other things that are going on right in the community kind of so. like mark your calendars put this on your yeah. schedule put it on your radar absolutely type of thing before we start the main event yes. of starter brew yes absolutely love that uh there's so many great things going on over there at starter brew three years you're celebrating that this year uh this month of course ndsu going to be taking over this week concordia is going to be a part of the celebration uh, as well as starter brew fargo coming up here the second week uh, of april is there anything yet, though? I know you guys keep looking at everything right in front of you, what you've done, but is mm-hmm. there anything that you go, we haven't done this yet? Ooh. You as well, as, lo- as well as these entrepreneurs, you're you're setting the bar high here. You're you're uh, really showing, you're putting us in kind of an innovative place in yeah. Fargo by, yeah. by doing something like this. Is there something you haven't done yet is there anything that, you, that you're going, done? you know what, I think we need to think about this for next season let's put that on the shelf Gosh, and let's so take tough. a look and let's talk about that and maybe put that we haven't done that yet okay well i'll give you two one yeah probably attainable the other one's like uh we call them b-hags big okay. hairy audacious goals Ooh. i just learned what that i was. do like so, that term <laughs> b-hag like that. <laughs> um the first one probably obtainable because we've done the college takeovers and usu yeah. concordia msu and we'd love to do that in collaboration with und right so University of North Dakota and Grand Forks, Ooh. get them really plugged into our ecosystem, sure. see how we can facilitate that. Yeah. The big, hairy, audacious goal would be to take Startup Run the road. I like it. So traveling, I mean, whether it's around the Midwest, whether it's around the world, but it'd be like our team, I don't know, maybe in one of Eric's vans. Startup Brew on tour. Yeah. In one of the go. vans. I love yeah, this in idea. America. Yeah. So done. Maybe next year, maybe 10 years. I love we'll that idea. <laughs> That's absolutely fabulous. Startup Brew Fargo, where and when are you every Wednesday? Yeah, absolutely. So our Jacker Brew Hall begins at 830. Doors open at 8 a.m. Coffee from Thunder. Yeah. Roger will be greeting you. It's a good time. I love this. Where can we find more information about Startup Brew? We just hit you with a lot of great information, a lot of great events coming up here in April. Uh, more to come in, in May and the summer and all sorts of things. Where are we finding Startup Brew? Yeah, absolutely. So the best place to find us is if you go to our website, EmergingPrairie.com. Okay. You can look under the events tab that will not only show you our Startup Brew event details, but all of the events we have going on throughout the year. Yeah. You can also follow Startup Brew Fargo okay. on uh, LinkedIn. Instagram and Facebook as well for more details. Fantastic. Uh, we can't uh, ignore the elephant in the room. TEDx. TEDx. That's coming up. It is coming up. Give us uh, give us some more details here. Get us get a, get us excited. Yes. I'm, so, I'm yes. excited already. So the theme is called If. So it's kind of getting uncomfortable with the unknown, but yes. also dreaming what could be. Right. The if. You know, the if in your life. You're always like, well, what if yeah. I could do this? What if I could do that? And kind of making that a reality. Um, we're in the planning process of locking in all the speakers, so yeah. I can't give anything away yet. But sure. I think I will have an update for you the next time I'm here. If. if. Is there something 
that's yes. going on right now in technology, AI, AI wise or whatever that you're just going, oh, I'm a little, oh, it's got me a little, uh, a little concerned, but at the same time, I kind of want to watch to see what happens. Oh, I mean, AI is the big buzzword, right? Yeah. I'm always intrigued with AI because yeah. I feel like something new is coming out every single day. Right. So I'm sure we'll somehow touch on that topic. You know, I work with uh, a lot of marketing tools and apps and things like that, and it's amazing how those are getting incorporated as well into some of those things. I mean, you can you can put a picture of your boss, type in a script, and then the AI program will have your boss say it. Crazy. In a video, and your boss wasn't even there. No, it was it, just a picture, and I'm going, this is absolutely amazing. Freaks me out a little Are bit. we seeing this on TV <laughs> as well? I mean, are we even right? seeing real things on TV? Oh, I it's know. amazing. Wow. Absolutely love it. Start at Brew Fargo every Wednesday over there. Uh, you're going to want to make sure you find them on social media, and uh, make sure you go say hello to Sadie when you're there, too, and, and tell them uh, Radio Free Fargo sent you. We love having you here. Thank yeah. you for starting off the month Thanks with us Thanks for having here. me.